since childhood, teachers have a really important uh, part in our growth. Uh, they can be teaching us about how to preserve our environment, how to be more um, aware of the current issues. We're not learning about the scientific side of the effects that our carbon footprint is having, and we're not learning about like the environmental justice and the political side of it. I don't see too many students talking about these issues and what to do about them. We need to be thinking about what we can do now with all hands on deck to address how to prepare young people for living in a 21st century with climate disruption. Learning for a Sustainable Future in Lakehead University undertook a climate change survey of 4,300 Canadians to determine what Canadians know about climate change, what their perspectives of the risk are, and the role of the education system in teaching our young people about climate change. The results of the survey show that Canadians think climate change is happening. They're concerned about it. They're concerned about the risks to themselves and the planet. And they also think the education system should be doing more. I teach environmental science and climate change is certainly one of the issues we study within that discipline, but I think there are many cross-curricular opportunities to talk about climate change as well. I think that everybody has to play a part because every little bit counts. So if we um, just say it's, an, it's a geography or it's a science issue, um, then it means when I go to English it doesn't matter. Only one third of teachers reported teaching anything about climate change and those that did teach it spent between one and ten hours a semester or a year teaching climate change. When you compare this to other subjects in the curriculum, it's significantly less. I don't see um, climate change education being any part of the, the mandatory professional development that a teacher needs to do. We talk about numeracy, we talk about other things that are important issues, don't get me wrong, but I don't think yet that our government has realized that um, teachers would really like to get out in front of this. Um, and so to insert it into mandatory PD would be a big step forward. One of the most significant things that came out of the survey is that students uh, from grades 7 to 12 um, know that climate change is happening, know that it's human caused, and 46% of them don't think that any climate change mitigation strategies will change the course of climate change. And for me that's particularly concerning because for those young people, that mindset will influence how they think about their futures. I had four grandchildren, and so I worry about their future, because I think about the fact that they're gonna be around maybe in 2100, and I'm not, and what's the world gonna look like? They have to have good information, good science, Otherwise, there's a lot of confusion for young people about it. And the confusion either leads to a denial that there's any climate crisis at all, or it leads to a lot of anxiety. It's not over yet. Um, a lot of students feel this feeling of despair. They feel like they have no choice, no options left. And it's getting that through to kids that they can make a difference. It's not too late. We need to act now, but it's not too late. In our report, we provide some recommendations that we would like to see for both public education and also formal education. Have ministries of education release a statement on climate change. Revise curriculum so that climate change is a core concept that is embedded not just in science, but also across disciplines. Teachers told us that in order to have the confidence to teach climate change, first of all, they need more time within the curriculum to teach it, but they also need more professional development and resources. I don't think that the education system is doing enough to teach us about climate change. It's really hit and miss right now. Um, in random courses that they'll bring it up, but there's nothing that's like a concrete plan that we should be learning about. We're in an increasingly narrow window of opportunity. And so in this critical moment, we all have to work together to learn about what's happening and then take action. <laughs>